Hey, hi, hello creatives. Welcome back or to my channel. My name is Lindsay and today we are diving into my traveler's notebook. Uh, again, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is a uh, traveler's notebook that I put in memories from 2019 that I don't want to put in my traditional 12 by 12 scrapbook. Um, I've really been enjoying like memory keeping this way slash creative journaling slash uh, scrapbooking within a traveler's notebook. It's just been a lot of fun and I like using the smaller canvas and um, I don't know, just I, I've really been enjoying putting my stuff in the traveler's notebook. I feel, I mean, don't we all get a sense of accomplishment once there's a full journal? Um, and how like thick it gets how quickly how thick it gets quickly by the more and more pages you fill Anyways, I just I love that feeling and I mean I have never actually completed a full journal which is mind-boggling to me, but I'm such a procrastinator and I'm such a Start a project and not finish it. So I'm determined with starting this YouTube channel, I'm keeping myself accountable to actually finish what I start. Um, I also want to use it to drive. I'm going to do a um, pregnancy slash baby's first year journal that I'm going to do as a new series coming soon um, to document the, like, obviously while I was pregnant in the um, first year of my son. Um, just to kind of keep all of those little things that you wish that you knew when you have another baby or just things that you want to look back on. Um, so I'm going to put it in more of a, not so much a scrapbook. I will make a scrapbook as well, but more of a, um, like a journal just of our, my experience and my husband and I's experience and all that kind of stuff. So um, but as you see, as I put together, as I backed that photo of the polar bear, I used a lot of scraps. I'm using a lot of scraps of stuff from other pages that I honestly just like using it up. I like using all of my stuff. Um, but looking here, you, I, I mean, I'm not sure if you noticed, there's zoo pictures on one side and then cherry blossom trees on the other side. Um, so this is actually from two different days that I'm journaling at the same time. Um, the polar bear is obviously when I went to the zoo and we actually took my dad to the zoo for his birthday. Um, and it, it was a lot of fun. He's gotten into, um, photography and taking pictures and he has his, his big, I think a Canon, but he is a DSLR, a DSLR and he's been enjoying taking photos. So, um, this was a lot of fun going and doing that. And then when we went to Toronto, which is the next page there of the cherry blossom trees, um, we went to Trinity Bellwoods park, um, in Toronto, that's like famous for their cherry blossom trees. And you only got like two weekends or a weekend to go when you actually can see them in full bloom. And it is insanely busy. Obviously this did not happen this year due to COVID, but um, last year, like it, it's insane how many people there are. Like it's impossible not to get other people in your pictures, which I absolutely hate getting other people in my pictures. I hate having randoms in the backgrounds and pff, I hate that. Um, so here it was impossible. So you had to basically lift up your phone completely to not even get the ground because there was so many people at one tree, there was probably like 15 to 25 people surrounded by one tree trying to take selfies with it. And looking back at it now and thinking COVID life and like how it's just kind of like, no, like I don't want to even be close to that many strangers anymore. Um, so just kind of, that's all kind of funny, but, um, but yeah, no, it was a lot of, it, it was a lot of fun. It's the experience. It was seeing the cherry blossoms. They're like so pretty. Um, and yeah, like this page is coming together pretty quickly. I mean, it kept things pretty simple. I liked how I did there the photo. I like cut off a piece of a photo that I wanted to use as more of like a background picture, which, which I kind of not thought it was smart. Like so many people do it, but I was pretty impressed with myself, but 
Um, but yeah, no, this came together pretty quickly. I kept things pretty simple. Um, I'm going to add in all of my journaling for the, each day. I'm using my like Muji style pens from, I got them from Amazon. I'll link everything below. Um, and like, oh, they write so nicely. And I used the blue for the zoo day and pink for cherry blossoms. Um, I quickly add in some pieces of some cherry blossom um, washi tape and this is it this is all i got to show you today um but if you've made it this far i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you like comment share subscribe do all of the things and i'll see you in the next one bye